Pharmacology SAQ7 outline why ketamine may be more useful as a perioperative analgesic than as an agent for general anesthesia, 10 marks. This answer can be divided into two parts, points supporting ketamine's usefulness at analgesic doses and points against ketamine when used at anesthetic doses involve issues surrounding its side effects. Points supporting ketamine's usefulness at analgesic doses includes Ketamine provides intense analgesia with a single perioperative dose lasting up to 48 hours and effectively at doses much lower than that required to induce anesthesia. Secondly, the active metabolite of ketamine, which is norketamine, provides supplemental analgesia which has 30% potency of the parent compound. Ketamine acts as a NMDA receptor antagonist in the brain and spinal cord to modulate pain transmission. Ketamine is a partial agonist at KOP and DOP opioid receptors and its opioid effects are not antagonized by naloxone. Ketamine is known to be beneficial in combination with opioids and has opioid sparing effects. Ketamine prevents hyperalgesia and prevents progression to chronic pain. Ketamine produces less respiratory depression due to lower effective doses used. Ketamine has multiple routes of administration apart from the IV route. Points against ketamine when used at anesthetic doses. Hallucinations and emergence delirium may occur. Increased cerebral blood flow and potential to increase intracranial pressure. Increased cerebral metabolic rate of oxygen. This increases the risk of cerebral ischemia if O2 supply cannot meet oxygen demand. Prolonged recovery time. Increased sympathetic tone with resultant hypertension, tachycardia, nausea and vomiting, and increased myocardial oxygen consumption. Risk of MI if oxygen supply cannot meet oxygen demand. Direct myocardial depressant effects. Increased intraocular pressure. Increased salivation and respiratory secretions.